champion, exhibitor 1940, Haley England, Mount Air, Iowa. We pick our champion and reserve champion overall. Top individuals from each of the divisions, one, two, three, and four, and the calf challenge as well. Let's run down the participants in the final run. Representing the Calf Challenge, Paige Netsky, Lamberton, Minnesota. From Division One, champion there was Hannah Kemper, Buffalo, Iowa. From Division Two, the champion, Chandler Shelkoff, Geneva, Nebraska. From Division Three, the champion was Alexis Hansen from Gallery, Iowa. And as we just found out from Division Four, champion Holly Stegmeyer from McCook, Nebraska. Also in the ring are the uh, second uh, or the runners-up from each of those divisions. Potentially have a chance at the reserve grand champion in the ring. As we talked through our, uh, our division champions here, our Cap Challenge Cap, as we mentioned, probably a little heavier than I'd like to see him, but I think he's really good. He's just here with Ness and just a base. Uh, it's a power team, a lot of shape down in the top of the a lot of rib cage. He gives up some of those profiles of the steers behind him. He's probably not quite as attractive to his hip and his hind leg and every little heavier up to his shoulder. But one that I still think balances and so close and up rather nicely. One that's pretty sound in his basic skeleton has a tremendous amount of power to him as far as shape. He's done a nice job feeding into a very correct fat end point. Steer that won uh, Division One. One of the market steers over here is, is one that I really like uh, from the standpoint of his shape. He's really square down his top, he's extremely square back through his hip. Here that has some cushion and some flex up to his front end, some depth to the center of his body. The way your hands on him, he could be maybe a tick fat or his last rib. And when he gets out and walks, he might want to drop his pins down just a little bit. But this here that I think still balances up real nice. Very sound in his basic skeleton, and one that has a lot of shape and a lot of expression. The steer that won in second division here, the cap is just really complete, and I think that's the best way to describe him. He's not overpowering in any particular area, but it's really hard to pick a hole in him. Uh, he's a steer that balances and proportions up rather nicely. He's really deep and open in his rib cage and his rear flank. He has some with the base and sound and function as far as deep legs are concerned. There's some squareness of top, some shape in his hip. He's a steer that's very correct as far as his degree of finish. In this side view, he probably gives up some length of body some of the other steers out here. Uh, but in the cap that I think proportion-wise, he balances up pretty well. And he's one, as I said, it's just hard to pick a major hole in him. Uh, but he's not overpowering any one area. So then the question for him as we get out here in the champion drive is, is his completeness allowing to beat some steers a little more powerful than him? And I'll answer that question here in a moment. Steer that won the third, or third division in the market steer show. I really like this race here in terms of his length of body and his balance. He's a big footed, sound footed kind of a steer with long body, long neck, deep sided, has a nice square top in him. He's a cap that's uh, pretty correct as far as his degree of finish. I think he's really probably about 35 hundreds or so as I hand it down his top and over his rib. He's standing behind him, he tracks away with some rip and some power on his hind leg with some shape and power through his hip and through his cycle. As we mentioned in class with division, he's just a little bit wide, right to the point of his shoulder, but he's still a steer that gets out and travels and strides extremely well and sets down a very big foot up there in his front end as well. I think he's one that really is impressive in terms of combining some balance and some side view look with some, some heaviness and structure, some rib shapes and natural thickness and still being very correctly finished as well. 
last year we won the, uh, the, the fourth division in our market steer show. I like the handle of this steer. He's really fresh and leading out his top. He's very correct as far as his degree of finish is concerned. He's a long ball and straight line, very level hip steer. Uh, relative to some of the other steers out here, might be just a little tighter in his line. And when he sets in motion, he's a little straighter in the shoulder, a little straighter and tighter behind. It's just not quite as smooth as his movements. I think he's acceptable in terms of his structure. And I really like him in terms of his top shape and the power that he possesses back to his hip. And it's a really nice reserve champion back here that uh, in no particular division, I, I thought uh, just maybe uh, he doesn't have quite as good in their structure, didn't have quite as much of uh, a shape. Perhaps he's the Cali deep end, or maybe in a couple of cases I didn't have quite the look of the Cali deep end in their division. But we're going to pull a really, uh, really good individual up here in contention for reserve once I pick uh, the champion. Ha, ha, ha. 